What's up, guys? My name is Victor. And my name is Sam. It's finally here. This is our 40th itinerary in Hong Kong. If you guys are new here, welcome. We are Hong Kong based photographers and we've been living in the city for over 10 years. We're so excited to show you around the city that we call home. If you know us, we love coffee and shooting architecture all around the city. So let's get started because we got four days worth of jam packed activities for you. Chuang Estate, known for the most colorful facade of Hong Kong. I know it's very Instagram 2018, but we feel like this place really represents Hong Kong architecture and local living.
on the second floor, you have a really nice view of the Hong Kong skyline. If you really love your afternoon tea, this is the most iconic and traditional one that you go. It starts, I think, at 3 p.m., but you got a queue.
잊혀진 바빠 계속 레인 바꾸는 사람들 시간만 지나가 자신감 가지고 해와 그냥 천천히 들어가야 해 어쩔 때에는 무작정 들이밀기만 하지만 그런 거랑 차이가 있어 baby This is day four in Hong Kong, the last day of this guide. We're gonna take it easy today, go to Sham Shui Po and do some cafe hopping. too but it's currently not open.
Yeah. It is, but like, this is how they do in Japan too. Oh, like this. You did? I We are going up here for a magical panoramic view. Hey guys, we are back in our hotel room. If you guys are interested to know what you can buy in Hong Kong, here's a very quick Hong Kong shopping haul. All these products here are by Hong Kong based brands or brands that have some Hong Kong exclusive items. Everybody loves coming to Hong Kong for tech and tech accessories. Casetify is a Hong Kong based brand where you can get smartphone accessories and cases. This one is quite pricey, it's at least 500 bucks. But you can also go to the Apple store in Causeway Bay outside, they have a lot of shops where they sell these dupes for about 80 HKD. 
I know people love coming to Hong Kong just to buy tea, so these are two brands that I recommend. This brand is by Plantation. She used to have a cafe called Tika, which is now closed. She has a masala chai that she sells online. This is a brand called Matcha Li. They have a cafe on Star Street and they sell all things matcha, including the ceremonial grade matcha powder. Okay, a shameless plug. This is our own print shop, the APT Studios. We don't have a physical store, only online, but we do ship worldwide. Here is our most popular print of the Skyline. Every order comes with a postcard like this, and this is a print signed by me called Cotton Candy City. It's dated and numbered, and it's small enough to put in your suitcase. Also from our print shop, we have these authentic taxi lights that you see on every red taxi in the city. It's powered by a USB cord, so you don't have to worry about the conversion in your country, and a switch with three different lighting modes, on, off, and dimmer. If you guys love all things Cha Tan Tang, I got this cup and saucer set from Hak Day. It's become my favorite coffee cup. It's the classic Cha Tan Tang diner style that can work with any home cafe. Also around the city, if you go to PMQ or the mills, you'll find a lot of these classic snack postcards by Hong Kong illustrators. And this one is of the French toast and syrup. If you guys love Hong Kong iced lemon tea, this brand Tipsy Cat is by three Hong Kong bartenders. My friends brought this over as a drink over dinner and we love it because it is like a boozy version of an iced lemon tea. Plus it's really cute packaging. So after you finish this drink, you can put some flowers in it and it could be some cute home decor. In terms of Hong Kong snacks, most of them are best eaten fresh, but if you want to bring something back, Calbee has a Hong Kong specific chip called the Hot and Spicy, which you can buy at 7-Eleven or any supermarket. And if you're looking for a luxurious gift for yourself, Diptyque does offer a Hong Kong exclusive candle. The packaging and design is meant to represent the urban density of the city, hence the silver with a little strip of green. Let's open it and see how it looks. The scent of this is meant to smell like the Hong Kong orchid, the bohinia, mixed in with the fragrance of rice. And if you love coffee, Hong Kong has abundant full of coffee shops, such as this one, our favorite, Elephant Grounds. This is their OG espresso blend. It's a roast almond and dark chocolate, a bit of a medium roast to it, but one of our favorites to drink at the home cafe. We saved the best for the last, or the biggest for the last. This is a collaboration between Love Ceramics and WPM. When I saw this collaboration, I had to get it because Loveramix does coffee cups, WPM does milk jugs and coffee machines. Let's open this. Ooh, this is the olive green color. So you get three things in this box a cafe latte cup and saucer, the rounded latte cup. This is their signature WPM slanted top design, meaning that the top here is curves upwards instead of most of them, they go downwards. 